So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a, a little bit on the smaller side, but it's a modular home. It even has an upstairs, and obviously it doesn't help that it's sitting in between these two monsters. <laughs> we are at Middletown Homes in Buchanan, West Virginia, and uh, actually th both of these, this one and the General Jackson, I did them last time. I came here and they're already on the channel. I'll do my best to try to put them in the, the link in the description. Do my best for that. Yeah, let's walk around here. Quickly, I wanna show you something on this backside. We're gonna go ahead and get in, get into this one. Uh, we, but yeah, like I said, this is Middletown Homes. My second time to come. So thankful they allow me to tour these homes to put here on the channel for y'all to look at. If you're over this direction, y'all need to come see them. Be sure to tell them you watch the videos. Just wanna show you, we got an electrical outlet there. And I like the way those windows are set up around that door. Let's see, anything over here? I think are utility rooms on this end. Maybe we got us a side door. <gasps> But tell you what, like you tore a house or two, you know what you're talking about. Yeah, I sure do, I sure do. Electrical outlet, light fixture. That light fixture, I just, it's kind of hard to see. I can't get up there, but it, lo it looks cool because uh, it looks like, you know, an old time lantern that kind of hangs. Obviously it don't sway or nothing like that. It's actually uh, welded to, the, to that other piece. But anyways, it's just got a really cool look. Yep, you can take these homes, set them on a foundation, put you a basement underneath. I mean, you could do all kind of stuff with these houses. Stick around, we'll talk more about that at the end. Oh, here we are, we get a good look right here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how it looks like it's like just hanging on there? Obviously it's not, you can see where, yeah, you can see right there, it's not gonna, it's not gonna move or nothing, but just looks great. Thought it was cool. Yeah, don't forget to share this video, if you will. That helps us out so much and drop a like and subscribe and uh, let's go ahead let's make our way in you know another thing i forgot to mention is we have like this pantry area. I'll give you just a little look over there. And the, you see that? I don't even know what is going on in there. I don't know. I, I have not been in there. I, I wanted to. I don't know how bad before I started videoing when I was taking a little look around. I wanted to go in there, but I said, no, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait it out. And I'm going to do it with y'all. I'm going to give you a shot of the trim around our doors, our windows. Give you a little look right here. This is where, so behind here is where you'll go upstairs and we will check that out towards the end. This looks like some of that LVP flooring that you can get. Uh, you notice we don't have anything here in our marriage line, but this stuff, if it is, it's waterproof, very long lasting it's kind of don't really scratch up that that easily if if at all i think uh it's great stuff my goodness at the size of this kit this kitchen island Would you be upset if I kind of told you I just kind of looked in there? I just kind of, I just kind of took a little peek. I, I really, I really didn't even look long enough to even know exactly what I saw. <laughs> okay. From here on out, I'm getting serious. I'm sorry. We got the double trash drawer there. Obviously, stove will be right here. I think they're waiting on one to come in. We've got the built-in microwave. They went with the 
white cabinets, black pools over here. You notice we got different cabinets over here, different cabinet colors and different countertops on the kitchen and the island. You could do a lot of stuff when you customize and kind of dress these homes up. You, you, you looking, ain't you? Well, I guess since you've already looked, we might as well go in. Ain't no need to even do a pantry dance now, huh? Since it's all given away. But yeah, we've got somewhat of like a butler's pantry. I'm a little disappointed in you, but I'm just kidding. This, I mean, if you don't dance in a pantry like this, you have to break down well, at least one time and hit the pantry dance in here for sure. Not every day do you see cabinets and countertops in a pantry. Sarah's got a birthday coming up. And then we even have some cabinets right here. All right, I'm gonna come back this way and give you one more little shot of that kitchen island while we head down to the dining area. The dining area is where we have this very big table. That's where that door is with those nice windows around it. And then notice we have some more of the shiplap here on this wall that we have below the kitchen, right there on the kitchen island. This will be under the stairwell. And my first thought was, hey, you could have you a nice pantry here, but I mean, like, why would you do that when you have a pantry that size over there? So you could, you know, this could be down to your basement or this could be a great place for storage. Or if you wanted to put some racks in here, you could put like blankets, just all kind of stuff in there. Notice how all of our hinges are black, our door doorknobs are black with those white doors, really complements, you know, everything that we had going on there in the kitchen. Let's walk in our first bedroom. Even have the black faucets. Ooh, speaking of this right here, y'all, that main bathroom, uh, the sinks or the countertops are very, very nice. It's something I haven't seen, I don't think ever. I think you'll really enjoy it. That'll be coming up real soon. But I do like this in here as well. I think the same faucets are in there. We'll find out here in just a minute. So this is a three bed, two bath. And then here is our utility room, the side door we looked at. We have these different, I mean, are they, we don't even, no, this is a totally different top than what was in the kitchen. So we've seen three different tops and then you count that bath and then you count the main bath. We've seen five different tops. The gray cabinets in here that was in that bath we just saw. Looks like maybe our doors are missing right here. Um, but yeah, you would have doors over that. We've got a sink. We got a lot of countertop space, even got a little bit of backsplash, some electrical outlets. We've got a window in, in, in this utility room. We've got cabinets over here. You can kind of tell this is exactly what it'll look like over 
on this side once they get their doors put in. I believe this house has just been set up pretty recently. It looks like a very new model. You have access to your water heater behind this panel. I don't even know if I really showed y'all much of this. I apologize. Look how wide these cabinets are. Now into the main bedroom. Two different wall colors. This is off the front section of the home, as you can tell. Right out there is kind of where I started videoing. Let me give you a little look at that. <laughs> but the shower is great, don't get me wrong, but I really want y'all to see these tops in here. Pocket door into the closet. Okay, here they are, check this out. I was thinking this was marble. I didn't know if I was gonna say it or not, because I was like, what if it's not? I'm gonna sound not very smart. But yeah, this is like, these are like one, one piece sets basically that you can get, that you can put on top here that look great. Plus we've got those same faucets and those faucets really set this, this top off as well. And so do these mirrors really, just this, this whole look. I wanna step back and give you a good, that they designed that up great. We've got nothing over there. This is gonna be a nice linen closet. And then here's the towel shower. I have seen this. This you can also get in a matte black as well. All this is the same. Towel all the way to the ceiling. Shower's massive. The cool thing is I've got to tour several houses here and some have the, have the tubs as well, so you could definitely option in stuff like that. It's great. I wanna take you upstairs for just a second and then we're gonna get into more information. Now what's cool about this house is even if it's on a smaller scale, it still has the upstairs, but it also, it's not like a crazy huge roof pitch as well. So uh, it's gonna help with the price point. You know, obviously you got plenty of room that you could finish this out. Let's see, top of my head's gonna be somewhere right around here. So I'm gonna say that's somewhere around six foot. Uh, but yeah, you know, definitely big enough for a kid's room or if you just wanna keep it for storage space, whatever you wanna do. Hey, before we get into information, would you please drop a like on the video if you haven't? Uh, maybe you have somebody you can share it with. I would appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Sarah, don't worry. I'm coming to your birthday party. Howdy, folks. Let's get into what I like to call the nitty gritty on this particular model. This home is located, once again, in Middletown Homes in Buckhannon, West Virginia. They have multiple locations. You can check them out online at middletownhomeswv.com. This house is manufactured by Colony and they call it the Pioneer. This house also has three bed, two baths, and it's 1,566 square foot according to their website, okay? But yeah, that's not what it's going to be called by Colony probably. I know they give all their homes a specific name just because they have different locations. I think it's a great way for them to keep up with it. But anyways, you can definitely get more information in the description as well. I'll try to have some stuff there for you. I thought personally overall the reason why I toured this home 
is because I thought it was a perfect fit for somebody wanting something smaller, but then you still got the modular uh, cape, you know, that it's built modular basically on a foundation. You know, uh, those homes are able to get better financing and stuff like that. Um, and then also the fact that it still had an upstairs, I mean, basically you just want to, may want to consider that an attic, but you can still set it on a basement. You can even go bigger roof pitch, you know, to have uh, more headspace up top. There's so many things you can do with these houses, but I thought it was a perfect little fit. And then when I, when I initially walked in, like I told y'all, I didn't really take a full tour of the pantry. I just saw it over there. I was like, okay, we're getting this one. So y'all let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Maybe some things I didn't mention along the way or some things maybe you would change or, you know, just love to hear from you. Let's, uh, oh my goodness, y'all, 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 y'all. I'm going to get into pricing, okay? Before we do that, I got to tell you about Thursday night's video that's coming out. And I know, I know I do this all the time and, and y'all are probably sick of it. And that's okay too. I understand that. I would be too. But I'm telling you, and I told you in Saturday night's video, I believe, tomorrow night's, uh, Thursday night's video, excuse me, is going to be one, it, it may be, and I hate to even say it, <laughs> but it may be the coolest manufactured home I've ever toured. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. I cannot make this up. Y'all think I'm playing with you. I'm not playing with you, okay? I'm serious. Serious, serious. I'm telling you, if there's one thing you should do, that would be be right here, 6.45 Central Time, Thursday night. Serious. That's all. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, you know, I go on and on and on. But you're going to see everything Thursday night, and I believe you're going to be like, wow, I've got to listen to that guy more. <laughs> Let's do get into some estimated retail pricing on this particular model. And when it comes to pricing, what I've been doing on there homes because they do such a great job at explaining it. I'm going to first off pop you up a screenshot of the price and then also what all this pricing includes there at their location. Obviously, even if you was to get a colony home at a different place in a different state, there's factors unknown that I can't account for. Okay, so this is for Middletown Homes here and I do recommend checking them out. I just seen them at the Louisville show actually and they're just a, they're great, they're great people, great company. All right, here's some pricing for at the time of recording. And then also, this is going to be just a screenshot what they have on their website, kind of breaks down what you get with that pricing, okay? Well, I'm going to head out because Thursday night's video I haven't even edited yet. I just know I'm putting it out Thursday night. So I got to get on to that. I got to get, that's what I got to do immediately after this. Is there anything I can do to encourage you to stay? What if? It's like, I want to show you something. I'll show you just this little bitty, like three second clip. Look. And you're like, I don't even know what that is. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to give too much away. Y'all come back Thursday night, 645 Central Time. Hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. God bless you all. See you.